deadly device that was ever devised by man to catch salmon is the fish trap, which operates in the waters of the state of Washington, as it is shown here in this animated picture. More than 800 of these destructive traps are licensed to operate in this state each year, destroying countless millions of immature and mature salmon annually. Guided by the lead of the traps, many of which are a half mile long, the salmon are led without the slightest chance for escape into the hearts and eventually into the pot and spiller where they are brailed into the waiting fish cows and thence to the cannery to further increase the profits of the few fish barons who control the salmon industry almost as effectively as if the state had deeded to them its entire waters. These salmon represent a great natural resource which belongs to all the people of this state. But what chance have you and your children to share in your rightful heritage as long as such machines of destruction are permitted to operate? Washington was made famous by its once enormous salmon runs, which have dwindled to a sorry figure today. And unless we curb this terrific destruction, we'll find it necessary to go to a museum to see what a salmon looks like. Sixty tons of salmon were taken in this hall from this one trap in 24 hours. One wonders how Mother Nature can ever keep up with such destruction. Such looting of our great salmon resource, as shown by this picture, is almost entirely responsible for the 96% decline in the most valuable of all salmon, the sockeye. This wanton slaughter is certain to spell the doom of our great silver hoard. Wake up, people of Washington, before it's too late. Drag seining on the Columbia River is another type of salmon fishing which takes a great toll on the salmon headed for the spawning grounds on the upper Columbia. This type of fishing represents a monopoly granted to the corporation over great stretches of river for the small payment of $35 annually, a special privilege which excludes all other citizens from sharing in their own resource. Stacked up like cordwood, these huge Chinook salmon pulsating with life a few moments before are mute testimony to the cannery man's greedy desire to can the last salmon that swims. And here we have one example of the people's gear which will be permitted to operate by initiative measure number 77 the Salmon Conservation Bill, which provides 10 times as much employment as a fish trap in catching the same number of salmon. This type of fishing is much less destructive than fish traps and is a competitive form of fishing that is open to any citizen of the state. If you want to provide thousands of new jobs for people now destitute and eliminate the vicious fish traps, vote for initiative measure number 77.